ada perempuan pakai jubah hitam tutup pintu kita one by one. channel it's your girl alisha here if you are new to the channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below like comment and share this video yep as you guys can see in the title i put it's gonna be a featuring it's one of the collaboration video finally right now we are currently in iium so i have another youtuber friends in my room currently so like let's welcome our youtuber friends yeah it's ayu yazi so like i definitely gonna tag her um, in the description so what I will do I'll include her YouTube so you guys can watch and for your information we are currently eating baru je tadi we just done made a, like a food guide in UIA mukbang dekat her channel so I akan put the video link juga so you should go to her channel to see that video so yeah without further ado Ayu you can introduce yourself hi everyone my name is Ayu look through my um, channel to see my videos and I'm a classmate of Alicia. We are classmates guys. We are guys. classmates. So yeah. yeah. Let's get to the business. Oh by the way, kalau you guys nak tengok video Mumba ni, dekat Adi's channel. Okay? Yeah, so currently kita nak kena habis and Makanan. So, sementara habiskan, what we gonna do is that we gonna do the video on my channel, which is we will be doing the Q&A session. It's like a IIUM tag or I, I call tag. So, we want you to know if you are a new students or like current students, if you guys ever have any questions regarding I call, you should, I mean, you should ask us. But then I have posted this one on my status and also story, Instagram story, and then a lot of you like ask questions. So I'll be including all of that inside this video, despite so, being a controversial. Yes, but that one we are trying to be as civilized as we can. Oh, while our point, um, since some of us I didn't hear anything that we but then we are trying to do this video for your guidance if there is any SPM leavers or any um, anyone yang baru nak masuk uh, degree you guys can use this video as well okay yep i hope it's gonna benefit you guys because waktu kita orang masuk dulu like we don't have any guidance yeah Betul. it's so hard to actually learn about IIUM specifically about kuliah of laws i don't know why but yeah so we're gonna do that for you without further ado i have my ipad here. So let's go to the first question that we have for today. So I'll start the Instagram story. Oh, okay. but before that, know that me and Alicia, we got into UIA with a different path. Okay, I'm from uh, STPM. Alicia is from CFS. Um, yeah. uh, no, I I was in Kuantan, but currently, sekarang semua orang kat Gambang. So like, if you are familiar with CFS. Center for Foundation is basically Asasi, so it's a pre-university punya steps that you you can kena take, but you still boleh masuk UIA for degree with another certificate. Yes. Yeah. So let's move on to our first question. Sambil tu kita orang nak habiskan this point because we don't want to bazi, but then we can yang but we don't want to waste our time juga. So we should uh, makan. For the first question, alam tengah makan kan? Like as you guys can see on the screen, I call at the cafe makanan apa? Saya tak pernah pergi. <laughs> Honestly, we just talk about this in IU video. In my video. Go watch IU video, right? So let's go to the next question. We have here. I have so much time. Uh, we don't have specific Kita orang yang kena pergi sign up for classes and stuff I mean like there is like section And then you have to choose the time bagai-bagai tu And that's the it's thing Yup, yeah, sebab kita orang practically kena Berobot Right, berobot seramai-ramai dengan orang And like, see the tech pun lah And selalu gila sistem down Because ramai gila yang so nak web This time I think I went to work, but I give up. I to whistle. So, yeah, I hope that answers that question. Yes, 
question. And then second, what do you hate about IUM? Okay, I'll I'll let IU first. Okay, first thing first, yang you masuk benda yang you akan benci. Mana dia lebam tu? Oh my god, true. As someone yang bawa kereta. Yes, as someone yang bawa kereta. And also I bawa motor masa I first year, banyak dia lebam tu. Jadi kalau you kalau you mahu pergi kelas lambat, melampung-lampung lah you kena kereta tu. Tapi yelah, I rasa macam the, macam the on the bright side the bright Student side. punya selamat sikit kot Sebab kot. kita ada uh, student yang jalan kaki juga Betul, like you most of us body. jalan kaki So like kalau kita laju sangat, tak boleh juga kan But yeah, it's quite hassle lah untuk orang yang berkereta So, I think that's quite like technical For me, I don't, I don't hate I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know lah, I rasa macam All of the thing in IUM is quite reali- realistic, you know, like the fact that kita kena jalan, the fact that Every there is bumpers, like yeah, semua uni ada benda tu, so like, university in general is like sucks, it's right? Like But it's the thing that gonna count as like some of the fond memories that you have with your friends, so yeah, I think kalau the thing that I hate probably the facilities yang orang macam tak upgrade tu je kot, eh? because I do Because we pay for it, right? So like we expect more. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened in the office. Kau ke macam ada beberapa benda yang membuat kena lah tak boleh nak upgrade staff ke. So like we don't know. And also, um, since kita orang baru masuk physical, memang banyak je lepas sini tak boleh pakai. Cari je kat awal lift boleh pakai kan? Ah, lift tak boleh pakai. Walaupun ada tangga, ada tangga. It's not like we merungut or anything. But then when you Dah ada facility tu, saya nak guna kan? Betul, 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 betul. So, boleh kan? Boleh fikir dia sebagai kek kan? I mean like realistic approach from student. No, no. So, kita nak merungut merungut on the part of, you know, a public university. You know? Our so, rights. Yeah. So, next question. Betul ke banyak Pak Arab handsome dekat IIUM? I don't know about Pak, but there's a lot of international students, regardless Arabic or like yang macam African, Chinese, Chinese pun ada, I pernah jumpa juga Chinese For those who doesn't know, IIUM actually ada admission for non-Muslim yes. dekat Malaysia I mean yeah, for the... Tak ramai orang tahu Kan? Walaupun you non-Muslim, walaupun this university is International Islamic University of Malaysia Tapi you bukan Muslim pun, you boleh masuk uh, asalkan you pernikah Islam kan? I'm not sure about that but yang I tahu, international tak boleh International kena Islam but kalau national If you are Malaysian and you are non-Muslim, you can apply untuk be part of IIUM. Ya, aku dah ambil degree ke apa ke. Betul? Cuma tu lah, the, the downside of it is you have to dress like hmm. a Muslim lah. Hmm. Uh, tak adalah pakai tudung macam tu orang, just pakai selendang macam tu. Not like downside lah. Nah. I mean like that's practically macam how you can act Ethic in. Lah, ah betul. Betul? Ya, yeah, untuk bawa benda soalan ni bukan Pak Arab je, ramai lagi Ramai yang... lagi handsome, nak yeah. lagi pun Betul, tapi yang dapat seorang ni <laughs> And then next, the controversial question that we have Ada kompetisi apa kat Ayuan? Masa kita first year, ada yang that one, that really? one time Yang orang cakap ada perempuan pakai jubah hitam tu kat pintu kita one by one What? Tapi memang ada circulation, circulation, new circulation time. Oh, faham, faham, faham. I think I pernah nampak kot, I pernah nampak yang beware for those who knock your door, kan? Betul. Faham, 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 faham. I think not, kita orang tak pernah kot jumpa orang yang practice Shia. Tapi kita orang pernah dengar cerita. Pernah dengar cerita. Sebab dulu, before I masuk pun, memang yeah. everyone else keep talking about it. Like, macam, if you masuk, you are in, you have to be careful. You jangan campur dengan orang-orang orang-orang yang bukan bukan. Betul, I mean like kalau ada pun, I rasa macam diorang dah ada this one counsel yang tolong macam cegah, you know Okay, next Okay, sebab tadi kan I, kita orang cakap like we went uh, into IIU with a different uh, intake, uh, the different path So like I was from Asasi and uh, IU is from SPM Ya, yeah, SPM, dari intake selain SPM, we also ada je kawan-kawan kita orang daripada ASID, Asasi Dengkil and then ada Metrics, right? Metrics. Diploma So like, it's possible. It's totally possible. So, untuk menjawab persoalan ni Betul ke budak CSS? Indah budak dari SPS? S for uh, 
us to do No, okay, kita orang sangat sangat baik and welcoming I think the thing about um, both of us Okay, the fun fact, if you macam nampak macam mana I boleh tiba-tiba kenal IU and stuff Bukan through YouTube tau, I actually know IU from one of my close friends Yang mana she's from Direct Intake, tapi dia my high school friend Dia, dia dulu satu, um, satu group dengan I So like we eventually know each other and then me and Ayu classmate for DB right So like kita orang tahu je I think the thing about CFS dengan direct intake punya students We are quite separated Okay, kadang-kadang waktu dia orang sign up for classes Dia orang tak, dia orang you sign up dulu kan Ah, I think, I think yes Kita orang sign up dulu That's one of the issues So like the system made the second Sebab um, Diorang dapat dulu Lecturer yang Ada privilege sikit yes, lah Ada privilege untuk diorang choose Tapi kita orang dapat yang macam batu-batu je So memang I tak nak fikir masa awal mula-mula I masuk Masa mula-mula I masuk, 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 masuk I tak suka Just happen Confession Tapi life. Throughout the years Bila I think bila you dah masuk Start masuk SEM 2 SEM 2 Betul You dah nampak Layanan untuk CFS dengan STPM Dengan direct intake sama sahaja mm-hmm. Tak ada any benefit apa-apa pun Lagi-lagi bila Pasal free ride semua tu First time je Pasal free ride tu je Pasal And also ni kot Sebab circle you know Betul Sebab CFS kan macam dah lama kan So like we have our own circle I mean we are We we welcome them But then we have our circle juga Macam tu lah I think maybe Kalau I pun jadi direct intake I would be Situation like that, right? I think this is one of the reasons why we do this video because we want to break the the culture yang masuk masuk aja sih apa sen direct intake should Betul. be segregated no. Masa mula mula pun I rasa macam tu juga. Tapi bila lama lama, I want you guys to know that for direct intake it's okay. Don't feel left out. At masa mula mula start lesson pun, I rasa macam eh, best ni budak foundation dulu dah ada basic about it. But then you can always just ask. If you True. Don't know. You can always just learn. And throughout the years, kita orang ni dulu dah tak year dah. Mm. Dah tak ada dah jurang tu. Betul. I boleh jadi lepak dengan dia makan-makan. I kenal je kawan dia. Yes, like. betul tak? Kita orang ada juga circle of friends yang sama. Betul. So, there's no issues yang yeah. pasti dah direct intake ke apa Yeah. Okay. So, I hope that answers your question. And, yup, next. I think this question is specifically asked for Ayu Saya daripada STPM, boleh ke saya survive ke luar ke? Oh, okay, fun fact I, masa I sekolah menengah I I come from science background, science account And I hmm. masuk STPM, I ambil sastra Wow, I don't know I ambil sastra And lepas sastra, I ambil law Okay, so, uh, memang apa yang I belajar sama ni memang tak ada kaitan langsung lah dengan law I takkan deny benda tu agak susah lah at first first few uh, step memang it's a struggle for you to adapt um, to pick up whatever whatever you baru belajar sebab dekat SPM tak kira lah you ambil science ke you ambil sastra ke you ambil pengajar perniagaan ke I have a friend coming from business business study punya field from SPM She's fine. Dia pun masuk law juga. So there's no, there's no. Macam mana? Saya tak kalau. It depends on both of you. If you not, you will not. Later on, we have. Saya tanya sebab tentang subjek. Oh, mana ada cakap tentang subjek? Subjek pun sangat white tau. Tapi according to our study plan, kita orang memang tak kalah ni dari study plan. Sebab kita orang tak susah sendiri kita orang di kemudian hari. Uh, study plan biasanya dia memang akan tunjuk lah You akan ambil subjek apa This time you boleh ambil subjek apa Next time macam tu But bear in mind that uh, Ada juga prerequisite subjek Maksudnya betul, betul. you tak pas Let's say criminal law lah You tak pas criminal law why You cannot go to criminal law too You tak pas company law why You cannot go to company law too I think semua universiti pun macam tu juga I 
But subjects You tak boleh expect you dapat semua benda yang Minat you contoh Macam I, I entered into law school Dengan dalam otak I, I nak ambil for criminal class No, it's it's not like that Okay, law school you have to belajar semua You tak suka Betul. banking Ada Islamic banking yang tak kapal True You tak suka You tak suka contract Ada contract law So there's no in between There's no Pick Pick, pick, pick tak lah belajar semua benda. And that's what a lawyer should be. You kena tahu hmm. semua benda. Betul. That's why law school crap you lah. That's the thing. That's the reality of pursuing yeah, law. Betul. Right? So next. Have you ever thought to change the course? <laughs> I did. Honestly, I did too. But you know what? I don't know what course would I change because I just want to change. During my first year, it was very tough though. Because I'm, I'm Macam setiap kali nak bercakap I mean yes Law is where you are Trying to persuade people Regardless of your work Feel or what not right Tapi It's not something That you should be afraid of Because eventually That happens in all of the works Or like occupation So Yeah You can't survive I'm an introvert So like for me Eventually memang I tak pernah plan pun Nak ambil law But then Because people was like You know what Alisha You should You should give it a try So like Yeah, I'm here. I'm here and surviving. So don't worry. Like maybe some of you, like, you know what? Let's just follow the flow. And then tiba-tiba you dapat law. Yeah. I follow the flow. Ah, so you. Follow the flow. Do what do. You can definitely survive law school. But right? okay, like, uh, but I nak bagi tahu, jangan rasa if you tak boleh bawa you push pun jangan. Betul. I mean, ada je kawan kita orang yang ada drop. Ada change. Ah. Uh-uh. I think uh, growing up. Uh, for Arabic, kalau you tak pass Arabic, tak apa, you tak payah masuk Zalpan uh, 
You boleh ambil sendiri You boleh You tak pas uh, You tak pas RV Tak payah masuk sampai tau You boleh terus masuk kuliah Semua you kena ambil Sampai RV Macam so, I dulu ambil R, uh, Tak pas kan Sebab I tulis nama je Time APT tu Macam tu Please do that If you rasa macam You tak boleh Jangan boleh Time tak arufik tu tidur tu penting <laughs> Time tak arufik tu memang uh, Time uh, APT and APT akan diadakan masa tak arufik Lepas tu lepas tu I think lepas 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 tak arufik Tak arufik tu is our uh, Orientasi Orientasi Yes tak arufik tu our Orientasi dia akan adakan lepas tu uh, no. So dia akan letak you dekat dalam satu day one jawab EPT dekat situ, EPT pun dekat situ juga so um, if you tak nak masuk uh, setback, you have to score lah hmm. tapi if you tak lepas pun it's okay, tak, tak apa uh, is it that you akan lambat sikit lah, untuk semester you daripada your friends tapi it's okay uh, tips kalau you masuk setback please habiskan semua you punya UNGS tu, ambil you NGS ke, you punya uh, tilawah ke, habiskan time tu sebab saya, Bila you masa sahabat, uh, subjek tu tak berat Betul, so, betul, 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 betul That happens for direct intake sebab orang kena ambil Tu tau, APT, APT during the tower kan Macam I, I have it uh, within my foundation So, benda tu akan berlaku within the foundation And kita orang still, macam nak cakap Kita orang macam tak ada yang kena ambil satu SAM You have to focus on English je tak Like you can include the English inside your subjects punya uh, Macam biasa subject law It's, It happens only for foundation So like if you are from CFS And then you dah settle EPT, APT semua You okay je, boleh terus masuk So like you tak adalah perlu go through EPT dengan EPT, uh, APT dengan EPT sekali lagi Like dari EPT je yang kena ambil balik waktu tu Sebab, Sebab I think dia orang, um, uh, dia orang ada muai eh. mm-hmm. But then UIA leading the way mm-hmm. They don't Betul. recognize muai Even if you dapat muat band 5 sekali pun Band 5 or band 6 Kalau kau tak lepas EPT Memang you kena re- ambil sahabat Ambil sahabat Dia tak ikut you punya muat punya So yeah I hope that clears And like the last question that we have to be Is that uh, Basically kerja law dapat tu betul-betul tu jadi kaya ke? Uh, okay I don't deny Yeah, no, one can deny, deny that. no one can deny that Lawyer memang gaji banyak Tapi If you You kena Ready with uh, Workload Workload Satu And Tak semua firm, Kalau kita kerja dekat law firms Tak semua firm akan bayar You gaji banyak Betul Ikut, ikut tahap um, Tahap besar ke Sebab apa tu Kecil ke Pasal you jangan expect You as the fresh graduate Boleh terus dapat, dapat Case yang, yang ha, Lepas tu dapat 150k Tak 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 tak. It's not like a one time process It's you orang pun so, macam, you have to establish yourself in the industry and, uh, and like banyak benda lah kena tahu about the legal So, yeah, it is, dia ada promising punya salary mm-hmm. but in the long run I think that mm-hmm. not that's not exclusive for law juga okay. kan Untuk and yang specialty, yeah, semua bidang macam tu juga If you reach one, one um, level of specialty, because you mesti banyak punya Betul, tapi bear in mind, kalau you letakkan benda tu Everyone is 
person until they is proven guilty. Okay, setiap orang selagi hakim tu tak jatuhkan hukuman dekat dia orang, um, benda tu still akan dia still innocent. I think people would say that I mean, kenapa kau bela orang yang salah? But the thing that was macam menjadi satu ketakutan sebagai lawyer, I've I've heard this a lot. Like from many of lawyers yang come and like visit I call kan Yang diorang cakap macam ni It is uh, much It's much more scarier When you are defending I'm sorry When you are not trying hard To defend a person Yang sebenarnya innocent But the circumstances look Make it look like they are the, They are guilty They are guilty So like It's better to save This person you know Like kalau kau orang pun dekat tempat tiba-tiba kau orang dituduh bersalah sedangkan you know that you are innocent right so you the the yeah. on betul of course That's like if you watch drama pun bagai-bagai it's it's not fair for someone who are actually innocent being held guilty right because the booty is on betul about macam defending them for like completely acquitted but it's for macam di, apa hukuman tu diringankan ha yeah, uh, berdasarkan degree kesalahan dia setelah i guess that's pretty much about every questions we already answered yeah. everything i hope like it clears things up if you guys have any like, any further questions you can let me know down in the comment don't forget to watch our video in ayu's channel i definitely put it in my link uh, description down below and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe and also share this video till then see you guys in the next video bye, bye.